You know when you have some awesome dialogue footage that you're real pumped to edit, maybe you filmed it yourself, you pop into DaVinci, put on your headphones, and you hear this. Yeah. Not so good. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to reduce and maybe even remove that annoying background noise that's in your dialogue audio. First, I wanna mention a few things. If you have a good pair of headphones like this or you have some awesome speakers, use one of those two things to listen so that you can really hear the difference that we're gonna make in the before and after of this audio. Second, you don't wanna be the person that says, Oh, we'll just fix that in post. Especially when you're trying to remove a sound, you wanna do everything you can during production to record the best possible audio. Because when you are working with an effect that's gonna take away a certain sound, especially with dialogue audio, you're also gonna take away some of the natural frequencies of a person's voice. And third, you always want to record some of the natural sounds of your environment without anyone speaking or random interference. What I usually do is continue recording for at least 10 10 seconds after the dialogue finishes. Basically, you wanna get a sample of the room tone. This is so the effect I show you can reference it and know which frequencies are separate from the voice itself. And if you're new here, nice to meet you. My name's Allie and me and Mil, his name's not Mil, will make weekly tutorials all about video creating as well as gear reviews. So if you're into that, subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop. It's just, it's a fancy bubbly water in a can kind of day today. What are you drinking? Do you like bubbly water? I love bubbly water because it makes me feel like I'm like classier maybe than I am. Anyway, okay, so we're in DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight tab and I have this talking head clip that has a humming background noise throughout it. Let's have a listen. Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, let's take a look at how to use the stabilizer effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's hop in there. Yeah, that background noise is pretty distracting. So we'll use the noise reduction effect and test out two different ways to reduce that noise. First, let's bring our playhead to the beginning of our clip and press I on our keyboard to make an in point, hit the down arrow to go to the end of the clip and press O to create an out point. Let's turn loop on so the track continuously repeats between our in and out point. And if you can't see your mixer panel, click on mixer at the top right here. Just gonna adjust the size of this window so I can see the effects tab in my mixer panel and in the A1 tab, because that's the audio track we're working on. Let's click on the effects plus icon, go down to noise reduction, choose noise reduction again. Okay, so this is our noise reduction window and we're not gonna worry about all these dials because working with them is more advanced, time consuming, and the quicker way of reducing background noise that I'm gonna show you does a pretty awesome job. So when this button's red, that means the effect is active. We'll be turning it on and off a few times to hear the before and after as we play this through. So let's first test out auto speech mode. If you're stuck because you don't have any room tone recorded, auto speech mode can be useful because it will let DaVinci determine which parts of the audio are considered voice and which parts are background noise. And then it will remove what it considers to be background noise. Let's have a listen. Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, let's take a look at how to use the stabilizer effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's hop in there. Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, let's take a look at how to use the stabilizer effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's hop in there. Okay, so yes, auto speech mode is doing a decent job of removing the background hum that I do wanna get rid of, but it's also picking up and removing a little too much of the frequencies in my voice. And as a result, it's making my voice sound kind of muffled and distorted. And we can actually have a listen to what Da Vinci's considering to be background noise and removing by check marking listen to noise only. Let's check this out. <laughs> That's just a little bit creepy sounding. So depending on your audio, using auto speech mode may do a better job for you, but I always choose to use manual mode. You'll see why in a second. So let's go to the top right here and click this circular arrow to reset this effect. And now we're in manual mode. Let's bring our cursor to where our room tone begins. We're gonna select learn, which will detect the noise in our audio we want removed. And I'll play through this area of my room tone that has that background noise that I want to remove in my audio. Okay, DaVinci's worked its magic and learned the background noise, so now anything that matches that noise in our dialogue will be removed from this track. So let's have a listen to the before and after. 
Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, let's take a look at how to use the stabilizer effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's hop in there. Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, let's take a look at how to use the stabilizer effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's hop in there. Okay, so that sounded pretty great. And in most cases, I find using noise reduction and the manual option so I can use the learn feature works really, really great. And there you go. That's how to quickly and easily reduce and maybe even remove distracting background noise from your dialogue audio. And do you want more audio tutorials from me or color correction tutorials from me? Because I kind of assumed color correction, but recently I've been getting a lot of comments asking for audio tutorials. Let me know in the comments below. If you want to learn more about filmmaking, check out our over 100 plus other videos and we will see you in another one.